There we go. Evening folks, I'm Jason. Welcome back to Mecha Taco. Uh, tonight we are continuing our journey through Super Aleste, uh, which is essentially Blazing Lasers Plus. Um, it's it's Compile, uh, thus the Puyo Puyo remix. <laughs> it made sense at the time. I was like, hey, Compile, they make Puyo Puyo. Um, as I said, it, it, at the time I was like, that that's a great idea. Right now I'm just like, really? But I don't care. Um, Super Eleste is, is fascinating because it really is incredibly derivative of all of Compile shooters. And that's not a criticism. It's, it's more of just a matter of fact. Like, hey, if you've played Blazing Lasers or Guardian Legend or Spriggan, um, what have you, uh, you pretty much know what to expect. Now, this uh, Super Aleste is has way more in common with, uh, with Blazing Lasers. Um, I mean, with a few sprite swaps, you could probably make a legitimate sequel out of the game. It has its it has its issues. It's it's long for starters. Good God, some of the levels just don't end. Um, it's hard. It's quite a bit more difficult than Blazing Lasers. Excuse me, and it's not that pretty. Uh, it's actually kind of the opposite, um, which is strange coming from a Super Nintendo game. Um, Super Nintendo games tended to look pretty good uh, for the most part, and this. As I stated last night, it's kind of a weird hybrid between 8-bit and 16-bit, um, and you'll you'll see what I mean. There there are some nice effects going on. They use Mode 7 well, um, but at the same time, it, it's it it has it has some issues, um, which honestly, to me, that is what holds it back from being truly great. On its own, right now, I actually quite like it. I like it a lot, um, surprisingly. And I had never heard of this game until a friend of mine told me, hey, check out Space Megaforce. Uh, and I'm like, hey, that's a terrible name, but yes, I will. Um, Space Megaforce, of course, the localized version of Super Aleste, which I... Hey. The things you learn. I never knew this. I don't know why nobody told me this. Um, I blame all of you. So, anyway, let's get started. Let's turn down Puyo Puyo. Um, let's let's try. I forgot what volume I had the game at yesterday. Ah, we'll figure it out. Okay. Um, everything looks good. We are recording, and you are hearing my voice. All right. Let's. There we go. Screen. Screen. Uh, and this we are at level seven, I believe. All right. Um, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more. Sorry, folks. Let's go down to twenty-six. Um, yeah, you know, like the more professional person would have hand handled this, you know, before the broadcast. Ha <laughs> ha! Jokes on you. Oh, don't touch that. God, I'm pausing it again. I'm adjusting my volume because I want to hear it. There. Yeah, that's good. That's good. But I mean, you can see what I mean. Um, you know, graphics-wise, it's not. Um, it's not terribly pretty. It's very much the opposite. Ah. <laughs> uh, Music's alright. 
Um, honestly, I, I can't say it's really stood out. Um, yeah, jeez, this, this is a weapon to use. But yeah, as you can see, if any of, if for anybody familiar with blazing lasers, I mean, th look at that weapon. It's the it's the laser. It's number three, except. Oh crap! Oh, actually, that's okay. I'm. I can cope with that. Um, it was number three, except you know, crazier. Um, but this is fine. Oh, till I took a hit. There are no sub weapons in the game. Um, the sub weapons have pretty much been replaced uh, by actual uh, weapon configurations, and you can upgrade them several times. Um, and the, the weapon power ups are. There are some, a lot of strong ones. Um, of course, the yellow and the green orbs um, upgrade your weapons further, which is nice. Kind of like the purple orbs and blazing lasers, except uh, they're actually useful. It took a lot of purple orbs and blazing lasers to get like anything done. Oh, I must have, did I take a hit? I must have taken a hit somehow. It, it is a cool game, and I, you know, I hate to, I hate to harp on the graphics. Um, it's just like the, the thing that bothers me the most is that the the color palette is so washed out. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what exactly happened. <laughs> um, I mean, if you take out the uh, the mode seven and some of the cool scrolling effects, I, I almost say this was like a very early gen uh, Genesis game. Now that being said, this is a early gen Super Nintendo game. Uh, what are we? Ninety two? Yeah. Wait, where did I get this? Why did I get this? I didn't want this weapon. Laser, give me the laser. Thank you. That's not to say the Genesis was incapable of good graphics. Obviously, it was, but my that criticism comes from the Genesis's Genesis is is Mega Drive's uh, limited color palette. Um, a very limited color palette. I think uh, sixty-four colors on screen. Um, I, th I believe that's right. Uh, out of a quite a small max. Ooh. Oh. There we go. Oh no! I didn't. I didn't mean to get missile. Oh no. I'm stuck. I'm screwed. I'm dead. Blast. Missiles are actually alright in this game. Um, once you max out the level, I mean, right now I'm at level 1, which is kind of garbage. Yeah, let's... Ooh! Took that one to the face. Whoa, man. Sure. This this is kind of hard, actually. Oh, I ran straight into it. Good, there we go. Now this isn't a bad weapon to have right here. <laughs> nice, thank you. So not only do you have uh, a maximum of eight different weapon power-ups, um, most of them have alternate fire. Um, this one, for instance, um, 
you can angle uh, the uh, tra uh, trajectory of the ah of the bullet um, with the all fire. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Thank you. Missiles, yes, thank you. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna, I'll stick with missiles for now. The missiles you can uh, switch to seeking, like heat seeking, which is pretty great. <coughs> Ouch, sorry. And then you have that, which is like just a random short level, I mean, which is nice, I'm not complaining. <coughs> Let's, uh, there we go. I'll save it. Area 10. Now, uh, the only real differences between Space Megaforce and Super Eleste is um, the the intro is slightly different, um, and I think the ending apparently has also been changed a little bit. Oof, that was ugly. All right, people, I need I need something. Ooh, that's not... That's not what I wanted. It's actually kind of a cool weapon, just due to the fact that you can you can stop it. Um, but... Very hard to... Time. Yeah, let's... No, oh, did not want to, did not mean to do that. Yeah, your uh, your your first weapon actually has like uh, three different forms, maybe or four actually. There we go. Um, for lack of a better term, uh, there's a lot of, ooh, actually I'm okay with this one for this stage. There's a lot of what I would call, uh, platforming in this, in, uh, this game where you have to dodge the terrain or get around the terrain. Which is something that uh, you know Treasure does a lot of. Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Stop touching! <laughs> no, go away! Come on, burst already! There we go. There, nice. Well, like, this is nuts here. Thankfully, like, the wall won't actually kill you. But it is a tight squeeze.
Left or right, left or right. Let's go left this time. Oh, uh, not that it really matters. <laughs> Always do that. Oh, saw that. Can do anything about it. <laughs> the good old panic button. Laser, laser. Let's get the laser. Give me that. I don't care about that. Uh, yeah, it is. It is quite a bit crazier than um, blazing lasers. Uh, no, no doubt. And quite honestly, I have no idea how I survived any of that. That wasn't like you know my awesome shooter skills coming through or anything like that. That was pure panic. No, don't touch it. Almost. Huh. Oh, no, don't be a boss rush. This was the stage one boss. Although, you know what? This is not the weapon to have for this boss. Oof. Because he does stuff like that. Don't touch the circle. Hmm. I don't want that one. I don't even remember what that does. <laughs> I just don't want it. It's kind of strange. Not as strange as me missing the straw just there. I was just like, ah! What? The straw won't work. What's going on? Close your face. Had a long day. Oh, jeez. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Holy crap. But... Oh, sure, I'll go this way. Oh. Laser. Okay, I'm cool with laser. Yeah, that's just... What is that about? Slow down a little bit, that's nice. Jeez, that was kind of intense. That's fine. I believe there's a total of uh, like five difficulties. Um, I'm playing it on normal, which is the easiest of the difficulties. That's something that's nice. Um, at least you you return with the weapon you had. It doesn't, it doesn't constantly reset you with the weakest possible weapon. 
which is nice. No, stay away. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, that was... <laughs> See, I don't get the length of these levels. Like, they, they make no sense. Some levels last for, like, ten minutes. Ooh. While others like that one just, like, barely last at all. Well, things just got weird. Color, the color palette still sucks. I mean, th this is a great effect going on here. This is... Oof. I, I like, I like what's going on in this stage. Ugh, not a fan of the boss rush though. Yeah, I figured that would happen. The bosses look good. The bosses look really nice, actually. I'm quite like that. Might as well do area continue. Point continue restores you at the, um, uh, basically the halfway point. But in this case, I, I don't really think that matters. I do want that one. I'm cool with that one. Oof. This boss is actually easier than he was in his actual stage because he's not... In the actual stage he was like digging crap out of the walls and throwing it at you. That was probably a mistake. Laser's really good when it's maxed. Um, at level 1 and 2 here, it's uh, not the best. But I'm taking a chance, hoping I can <laughs> max it out a, li a little bit more. Oh, this boss. That's not cool. was not a fan of this boss. And I just fought him. Laser's not the... Not a bad weapon to have here, though. I took a hit there. Oh, I took a hit there, too. No! Oh! That sucked. That shouldn't have happened. That should not have happened. Um, I've stated before that one other thing I actually kind of like about the game is that they are very generous with the power-ups. Uh, I mean, it doesn't always feel that way, but I mean, you are constantly bombarded with ways to upgrade your weapons. Now, I don't know if that changes in the other difficulty modes, but in normal, it's fine. All right, it feels like we're actually getting to like a real boss here. Touch laser? No, ooh. Ooh. It's Guardian Legend level creepiness. Don't touch that weapon. <laughs> ah, I saw it and I just I didn't dodge it. I don't know. I 
It's like, hey, look at that thing I'm going to run into. I totally ran into that guy. I don't know how I lived there. If I get a laser, I'm going to switch it out. That's the charge cannon. I'm not a fan of the charge cannon. Spread. I mean, seriously, look at this. I have an army of options. I have to do a better job of dodging the main head there. Good. That was luck, by the way. Just use my options to block. <laughs> they take damage, which does suck. Um, yeah, I'm not going to switch the laser now, now that I've claimed I was going to. Is that really the final boss? <clears throat> wow! That hat's so Guardian Legend. Oh, now it's Metroid. I should have beaten this last night. This butt shot. Um, there was a manga, apparently, for Eleste. Um, good luck tracking it down, I guess. Well, tonight's episode is probably going to be a little short. I'm okay with that. And you should be too. I wonder how the, the, the localized version ended. There's Moo. Moo is still there. Moo worked on... Um, gosh, did he, didn't he work on Guardian Legends? Guardian Legend, not Guardian Legends. I think he did. It's um, I I like it. I really do actually like this game a lot, and I could I could see playing it again. Um, it's fun. I I really I wish, I wish it looked prettier, and I wish um, I wish the music stood out a little bit more. Um, you know, granted, I'm playing low volume, so I can babble on to you. Um, but nothing really, you know, stuck out too much. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me smile. <laughs> Maybe it's the tight pants. The tight, pan the tight shirt and the tight pants. Tucked in. I feel like all of my... All of my snapshots are all me making a goofy face, which is like a very YouTube thing to do. I don't I don't have some beefy guy I can hold on to though and do that. It's a good game. Um here, I've got I've got tumors here. I'll hold on to tumors. There we go, we'll just How's that? That's good. I don't know if I have I ever introduced you all to tumors. 
this is tumors my um, my mother got him for uh, my son when he was very very small and I took him immediately because I wanted him <laughs> because look at his face look at it <laughs> tumors he was diagnosed with three months to live and he's held on there he's held on quite quite well I mean every now and again he looks like he's gonna die but he you know you know he woke up this morning and he told me he's like Jason I'm gonna be in the football hall of fame and I was like you do that tumors I don't even know if there is one such a thing but you do that should have said baseball Not baseball hall of fame tumors Tumors is the official mascot of Mecha Taco, by the way, I've decided. Look at that face. Look at it. Look at Tumors. There. That's my screenshot. Alright. Enough of Tumors. I need to start up a charity drive. Uh, I wrote to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. They haven't replied yet. Um, one day, Tumors. Hang in there, buddy. <sighs> Any case. Battle of Leste. Uh, Battle of Leste. Super Aleste. I don't know why I call it Battle of Leste. Cause, probably because Aleste sounds like Athletus. And I was thinking about Athletus. And <sighs> Yeah. Nice short episode tonight. We, that's two short episodes that we've had lately, and I, I don't care. <laughs> I'm sure you don't either. Um, <clears throat> tomorrow we will be playing Gun Force 2. That, that's my goal. Um, I meant to play that before playing this one, but I got sidetracked. And I'm, I'm glad I got sidetracked, because I, I genuinely like this game. I really do. Again, you know, the color palette... Look at, you know... Brown and green. Good choice there. Um, that's suggestive. Ooh, ooh, my heart. And mode seven. Wait for it. Ooh, there you go. You know, for the hell of it, um, short game obviously is there. Um, it allows you to. Supposedly the levels are shorter. I don't know. There's a there's a mode in here. No, I don't. That's fine. Um, this mode. Yeah. The Omake mode just lets you um, play with the mode seven, <laughs> and you can zoom in. It's like we're playing Act Razor. Whoa! It's amazing. Mode seven. Again, now, I mean, this, this, mode 7 is impressive. I mean, look, that is some smooth scrolling. Um, I mean, it, it is, I understand how difficult it is for younger gamers to appreciate, like, what the hell this is. I mean, this, this is, like, nothing to younger gamers. But, mode 7 was very impressive back in the day. Incredibly impressive. You know, you had you had games before that scale and rotate sprites, um, but a lot of it was uh, you know software coded and just it just looked weird. Well, like Sonic the other day, the um, the rotate the rotating special stages they don't they're chunky. They don't quite look right. Um, I mean, look, this is very impressive, what it's doing here. The Super Nintendo was king of scaling and rotation. Even uh, Sega CD, which had, um, which I believe had the capability of scaling and rotating, I don't think it did anything on this level. Now, I could be wrong on that, um, and we will find out one day, because I, I fully plan on playing more Sega CD games. Um, Alright, how do I leave this mode? 
I can't. Ah. I can't leave this mode. Is there any way to leave this mode? I'm just stuck in Omake mode for the rest of my life. Whoa. Well, I can just do that forever. I want that as like my outro, you know. Whoa. It's like goodbye, folks. Anyway. So there's there's uh Super Eleste. Goodbye, Super Eleste. Um Good I again, really really good game. Um give it a try. Yeah, let's, you know, I've got a little bit of time. Let's look up something real quick. I want to look up uh, how much this game goes for on the uh, gray market. Let's just call it the aftermarket. Oh, so let's see. We'll, let's do the domestic version. Uh, what is it? Space. Space Megaforce. <sighs> what the hell? What kind of name is that? Yes, yes, yes. Load the freaking game. It's the game. Okay, hang on. Space Megaforce. There. Whoa. Really? God, I hate, man. <laughs> Have I mentioned before how much I hate uh, the collector's market? This is absurd. Um, oh my god. Okay, so here's a copy for a hundred bucks. Uh, that's a damaged copy. Here's a loose cart for 185, uh, 519, 199, 135. You can get a Super Leste for around, let's see, 70. Oh, 55, 55 dollars here for the Super Famicom version. 104 complete. That's Super Aleste. I'm sorry. You know, I, you know. I'm okay with collecting video games. I clearly, I'm okay with collecting video games. I am not okay with putting stupid values on video games. Um, you are severely limiting the exposure of these games. Um, this is a good game. It is It is a good game. I would never tell you to spend $150 on it. You know, go buy Blazing Lasers for that much. Um, yeah, hey, Blazing Lasers you can get for 70 Oh, 35 for a Hue card only. Seventy dollars for blazing lasers. What the hell? Mm. What is this? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I found a game we need to look into. Was there a gunhead released on the? Uh, Famicom? Let's, uh, hang on, hang on. Give me a second. I need, I need to look that. I need to know. Um, otherwise I, I won't be able to sleep at night. There was. Oh my. It's from a different company though. 
Very. Who is... I don't even recognize that company. Sorry, I'm, I know I'm wasting your time here, and I don't really care that much. Oh, uh, okay, okay. It's a, um, it's not a shooter. Sorry, it's like this, uh, like, strategy simulation game. Okay, well, now I feel better. Uh, I still want to look into that. I'm curious about that. Uh, anyway, so yeah, Super LSD and Space Mega, Space Mega Force especially, is stupidly expensive. And if somebody tries to sell you the game for, you know, over $100, I, I punch them. You know, punch them right in the face. <laughs> Don't. I'm not. I'm not encouraging violence against collectors. Much. Um, I don't. I just. You people are. You don't. I don't want to call you scum because you're not. But you don't realize how much harm you're actually doing by adding value to uh, an arbitrary value to these games. Um, yeah, it's cool to have something rare, but. Don't don't add the comic book baseball card magic card va value to the game. You're killing, you're killing the hobby that way. Um, that's a shame. That really is because it is it is worth a shot. It really, really, really is. In any case, there's my another collector's rant. I apologize. That just it really it does bug me. <laughs> it does bug me that. Uh, there's no reason for these games to cost this much. Um, mint in box. Yeah. Graded. Well, that's even, I love when people grade their games. Like, who gives a crap? <laughs> it's going to decay shortly after you do. Uh, oh, that was cryptic. Okay, anyway, I'm done. I'm gone. <laughs> What's... I outlasted the, the outro song, which was Puyo Puyo. So for real this time, I am leaving. Good night, all. <laughs>